Hi there. Thanks for taking a look with me at Wofu Forms. I've been using this uh, website to help create and collect information from time to time in various tasks and work that I perform. Hi, my name is Doug, and I'd like to share with you some of my insights and observations. I've set up a few forms, and in the course of several screencasts here, we will uh, take a look at how you create a form, how it's used, and how it can simplify your life uh, for whatever the interesting uh, collection of information that you need to get. Uh, the, so there'll be several screencasts here, otherwise it'll be a bit overwhelming uh, as far as one video cast trying to get it all in. I've got a few forms set up for you, but uh, initially you will have to uh, affect a sign up and there is some pricing involved as we can show looking on the next screen. I'm currently taking advantage of the free gratis sign up, which was uh, a nice uh, feature that's offered by the uh, website owners there. You are limited to the number of fo uh, forms as well as the number of entries that you can receive in any given month. However, I find it's quite useful for uh, my purposes. But starting as low as some $9 a month going up to some $200 a month, if that is your need, you can go ahead and uh, sign up for the service that's appropriate. But why don't we get in and take a look at these forms that we're talking about that you create as well as the results that uh, you will uh, be getting from them. So in any case, let's click on the uh, welcome back. And we'll take you to a form that I currently uh, have created. Uh, I'm working with some other instructors. And uh, one of the often things that we need to do is to share contact information relative to uh, names, phone numbers, email addresses, and other pertinent information. Let me show you the form that I've already uh, created so that you could see what it is that we're going to be talking about and creating as a WOFU form. This is a uh, finished form that I've set up. I put in the name of the form, some instructions, and then as I scroll down through the various fields, you may see little pop-up notes over to the far right-hand side, little instructions on how to fill out that particular field. Some of it is pretty self-explanatory. Others, uh, you might want to include information in there. Uh, what information you ask about, such as uh, do you have a Skype address, do you have a passport, uh, responding yes or no, and, and what happens if they don't have a passport or if they do, what situation you want to enter. Let me scroll all the way down here to the bottom of the form, and you can see that when you're all done filling this out, you simply click the Submit button, and off it goes. Now let's take a look at the final result of what it is that you get once you've submitted a report or if you made a submission to WOFU using one of these forms here. Uh, let's take a look at the view of the contact information on instructors that I have here. Uh, what you will get uh, set up in the WOFU database is the information that's being collected by the form. If you recall, you would be entering your name, uh, first name, last name, phone number, email address, so forth and so on. And then below in this gray area here, you'll be seeing the information populated as each individual responds to the form. And you may say, well, how in the heck do they respond to the form? Uh, it's for asking. What uh, happens uh, after you've got your form ready to go and so forth is you will send it out to anyone that you've got an email address. Once they uh, get and open their email, this is the information that they would see. You get a, uh, uh, information or an email that does come from WOFU, uh, instructions to fill out their new form, hey, I've created it, and then there'll be a hypertext link uh, taking them back to the appropriate form. Why don't we go ahead and click on that hypertext link and it will open up this instructor profile form that you saw just a few minutes ago. So it's a really neat way to uh, collect information uh, from people. Uh, as Wofu uh, says in their uh, information, uh, you can use it for a variety of purposes and all, but it's any time you might want to collect information. They may say, well, that's great. I got it on Wofu, but then what do I do with it? Where can it go? Well, that's where you can export it, uh, either as a uh, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or a uh, CSV file here. Well, I think that's enough for the initial introduction as to WOFU forms. And in the next video, we'll uh, do something about uh, creating a form, uh, submitting some information, seeing what it looks like in the database, and then how you can export it. So thanks for listening up to this point.